<clears throat> Good morning, guys. Um, Dave here. Just got a a really cool thing to talk to you guys about, and uh, I've gone ahead and taken apart all my Dynam retracks, and um, I figured out what the goddamn problem is with them. So let me just go into a little bit of detail here. A little free advertisement for Motion RC right there. So we got it all set up here. Motion RC free advertisement. I took the F16 out last night to fly it. That thing was going about 90 miles an hour on the fucking runway, and it wouldn't lift. I have no idea why it wouldn't lift. It takes a 6S battery. I have a 6S battery in it. <clears throat> it might have been up a little bit too far, but, I mean, Christ, they give you a tray right where to put it. And I actually gave did some justice, and I put it back a little further. Uh, and it still, it wouldn't lift, and it hit a snowbank and, and busted my front retrack. Uh, it still works. It's still functioning. It just broke off the two little plastic uh, pieces that uh, anchor it to the frame. Uh, but it all still works. It all still works fine. And the, the plane took no damage at all. Uh, no damage at all. Not even a scratch. So, uh, those retracks are pretty buff, man. They're pretty buff. If it wasn't for the, uh, plastic, uh, uh, arms that, uh, anchor it to the plane, if it wasn't for those breaking, nothing would have happened. No, none of it would even broke. Uh, it was, uh, it, it was pretty cool. We took Tyler's F-16 out last night and flew it, though. Uh, he's getting a lot better with it. He's still scared of it. I don't know why he's so scared of it. I mean, he, he flies it like a madman. I'm putting a video up later on it. He did a really good job. But when he comes in for landings, he gets, gets so scared. I'm like, dude, don't get scared. What are you scared for? Why are you scared? Just land the plane. Land it. He, he, he'll he land a belly landing plane, no problem. Boom, put it right down. But what, if it has wheels on it, he freaks out, man. So <clears throat> let me go into detail about these retracts real quick. Um, it stopped working. This is my retract that stopped working on my Tempest when I uh, took it out for its maiden. And when I landed it, we broke the front calling and the propeller. Uh, I don't know where that calling is right now. Calling or calling, 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 calling. There it is. Busted. Uh, because she did a cartwheel and fucking smashed right down on the nose. And not to mention my airspeed was probably a little bit uh, too fast. Um, I'm used to landing jets. I've never flown a prop plane before, so obviously it's going to take a little bit of time uh, to get used to certain things. <coughs> never flown a prop until that, that Tempest. So basically, what's happening here in these retracks? Okay, so the reason they're not working while they're when they're cold is because of the shitty fucking grease that they use inside of them. That's number one. Put your own grease. Open these bitches up and put your own grease inside because that grease that they're using is basically like fucking water. It's it's disgusting. Uh, it's 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 very it's not good axle grease at all <coughs> or gear lube. <coughs> put some nice synthetic gear lube in there. You will never have a problem. Another thing is is on some of the retracts when you open them up. Now you know what holds what holds on to the. Um, the bar inside, it's this little thing, and it slides back and forth on a screw thing, right? This motor spins. It spins the screw. It makes, makes it pull the retract up, and then when the, when you turn it back, it spins the screw the other way, and it makes the retract come down. Well, sometimes when they have those set, uh, when they first put them in, they have that thing set way back too far, so what happens is when it goes to screw in to, to uh, lift the retract up, what it does is it's... It's binding. It's catching. So it's locking up because it's it doesn't have enough play there. So basically what you have to do is open them up, screw it back a little bit, okay? And then case it over, put it, put the case back on and then let it let its starting point be from there. And that's exactly what happens. It'll start from there and finish from there every time now. Uh, and that allows it to go up and down. This was a busted retract. This thing was not working in my Tempest when I flew it. And now it's fully functionable. Uh, functioning. Functionable. Functioning. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, it's a little early for me. I'm tired. Uh, I just woke up and I'm still tired. Go figure. Uh, I was up all night trying to fix that Um pull that retrack out and, and fix it and the back ones were a little crooked and uh bent i fixed that i was fixing the tempest tyler he landed his plane really really fast last night i mean really fast i've never seen a jet rc jet plane land that fast in my entire life i'll, I'll show you guys the video uh i mean he was freaking screaming so I got to fix his plane again and bend his wheel back again and i just it's always a nightmare when i have to fix his planes but uh 
No, not really. I mean, he's 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 a good pilot. He just he just gets nervous. He 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 doesn't realize that these planes can sit there and pretty much hover. They're made of light foam, especially this F-16. This is made out of some foam that I've never even seen before. This is like really, 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 really cheesy foam. It's it's not very thick at all. It's very thin. Not like that F-16 up there. That shit is rock hard. Like the Tempest here, this stuff's rock hard. That's EPO foam. This is like EPA foam or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what they call it now, but this shit is dirt light. Dirt light. So anyways, um... Another thing that you need to do on the inside of these is when they mold these cases, they don't take the extra time to go in there and trim away the extra plastic that seeps into the cracks of the molding and your retract will get hung up on it. It'll actually get hung up on it. And in my case, that's what was happening. The retract was trying to retract and there was a piece of plastic from the casting there and I had to trim that away and sure enough, bang back to normal working flawlessly now so those are three reasons why dynam retracts do not work well or mess up frequently listen guys i took the time last night to gut one of these things open it up and figure out what the fuck the problem was and i found three things just like that there could be others maybe the motors that they use are shit maybe the the circuit board that's in there is shit as well who knows but all i can tell you right now is that those three things right there and your retract should work 10 times better. So if you get a dynam plane, your retract stops working, don't don't get all fucking beat up, dude. Just open that bitch up, put some nice gear lube in there, um, uh, wind it back just a hair, wind it back a hair, not, not a lot, just a tiny little bit so it's not pressed up against that wall. Because if it's pressed up against the back wall in there, and you'll know what I mean when you open it up. If it's pressed up against the back wall in there, then it, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, jam when it tries to screw out. Or screw, yeah, screw in. When it tries to screw in and pull the retrack out, it's going to get stuck or jammed. And that's exactly what was happening to mine. There was a plastic piece stuck there as well. And so I carved that plastic out, <clears throat> put it back in there, put some good gear lube in there. And this bad boy is working better than the other one. It actually comes down faster. Uh, it, it works better. It, it'll come down faster than the other retract now. The other retract is slightly slower. So this one's like boom, and then the other one's just behind it, finishing. So that's what happens when you put the new gear lube in it. Dude, gear lube is cheap. Good gear lube is cheap. You can get some synthetic gear lube. Um, really, really good stuff, man. Uh, I use it in the axles in my truck and in my car. Uh, it's really good stuff. <clears throat> And then uh, you can also use uh, better grease. They have some grease in here. <clears throat> I thought the gear lube would work better. And then uh, I got a little hole here. There's a little hole. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Right there. Focus, bitch. There's a hole right there next to the wire. I don't know if you can see that. But I got a little squirter. I can squirt more in there if I have to. Maintenance, baby. Maintenance. <clears throat> so you squirt a little bit more into that hole. And... Uh, and that'll keep it, um, that'll keep the, you know, the gear, the gear loop fresh in there. But yeah, the stuff that they was using, man, it wasn't really good. It almost looked like you could just wash it away with water. Uh, there wasn't a lot of it in there. Um, these things have to have some gear loop around it all the time. These are moving parts. Moving parts have to have gear oil on them at all times. You can't have any dry spots. What? Hold on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut the video off here. My brother's knocking on the door. But that's it, guys. Go into your retrack, open them up, and if you see the problems that I saw and it's not working, that's that's a good way to get it working again. Later, guys. Bye.